In our mind, the Onoaki organization has hailed the increased number of women leaders who have been elected during this year's general elections, saying it's a huge step towards gender inclusivity. The organization's chairperson Rahab Mwikali on Thursday said that the numbers have significantly increased since the last election in 2017 and the increase has been recorded in all seats from governor to members of county assembly MCA. Millicent Makoha brings us the full report. Maendeleo ya wanawake organization has hailed the increased number of women leaders who have been elected during this year's general elections, saying it's a huge step towards gender inclusivity. As the leader of this institution, with a national grassroots network and 70 years of age, we engaged in Kenyan political processes since inception for purposes of ensuring that women issues are taken care of by political leaders. Maendeleo led the first President Mama Phoebe Asio to go and visit the founding father campaigning for 50-50 slots in government. And since that time, we were able to send the first woman to Lancaster, Priscilla Abuao, and from then you know how we've done politically. We stand on three pillars, political, social, and economical pillars. The organization's chairperson Rahab Mwikali on Thursday said that the numbers have significantly increased since the last election in 2017, and the increase has been recorded in all seats, from governor to members of county assembly. In 2017, we were able to get quite many MCAs, three governors, but after these elections, we've done pretty well. We have been able to get seven governors from three, single constituencies 26 from 23, again the 47 women representatives, we are not forgetting the MCAs. She said this achievement has been realized through their many campaigns they have been spearheading countrywide. We therefore, as mothers and custodians of our families, we send a lot of messages from last year, but we are glad that the campaigns we did in 2017, we were able to get quite many MCAs, three governors, but after these elections, we've done pretty well. Mwikali said they will also engage the elected women leaders so as deliberate on how to deal with the pertinent issues affecting women and their girl child, including early marriages and teen pregnancies. My war has come around. During the 70 years, there are times we have to make bold decisions. And this particular time, we want to say we have always supported the government and we will continue to do so. When the country settles down, we will engage the women who have been elected so that we forge a way forward for the many members we represent in this country. It is not enough to go to parliament, to go to senate and just be like a club. It is enough to all of us Kenyan women to sit down and say, what is this one thing we want to do? We are number three in the world for girls giving birth at 10 years and therefore becoming grandmothers at 20 years. And so we want to sit down and look at the poverty, which is with our girls who are very many now in the numbers. What are we going to do to the fistula affecting our girls? She noted that having numbers in both houses is not enough, and hence they need to sit and come up with solutions. It is indeed a significant step towards the Kenyan women participation in the two houses. For Maisha Prime News, Maisha Television, I'm Millicent Makoha.